Hey guys, Thunder E here, and you've got some very pressing questions, I'm sure. You just picked up an iPhone 14 Pro Max, a 14 Pro, iPhone 14, or 14 Plus, and you're wondering, how do I set up my eSIM since I don't have a physical SIM card anymore? Well, I'm gonna show you, so let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so when we get our devices, normally we get a physical SIM card. In this case, with the iPhone 14 Pro Max, the iPhone 14 Pro, as well as also the regular iPhone 14s, it's only eSIMs, which means you need an electronic SIM to actually go ahead and make that uh, activation. Now, this can be done directly at your carrier if you actually purchase at your carrier, but it's, say you bought it from Apple directly, what do you do? Well, we have three devices here. This is my 13 Pro Max, which has a physical SIM card in there. And this is the iPhone 14 Pro that has an eSIM. Now the 14 Pro Max in the center does not have any SIM whatsoever. So it has no cellular service. Let's go ahead and showcase that transfer. So we're gonna pick this up, log into our device. You want to go to cellular. Now here you can set up your cellular service. You can see it says SOS or Wi-Fi. That is pretty much what I have now. I'm gonna click on that. And this should bring up a prompt that says, choose your number. As you can see here, even though you can't see the numbers, you can see I have two devices, as I mentioned, the 13 Pro Max, as well as also the iPhone 14 Pro. 13 Pro Max on top, that is a physical SIM. The iPhone 14 Pro is an eSIM. I can go ahead and transfer these two to the 14 Pro Max right here. Um, or I can also have other options. Now, other options allow you to bring your iPhone close to a nearby, which I won't do. And you can also use a QR code. In this case, I have a QR code from AT&T. I can go ahead and I can scan that. And boom. Now I'm about to set up my AT&T eSIM right here. Very simple process, it says activate eSIM. AT&T is ready to be activated on this phone and I'm gonna hit continue. Now that took roughly around two to three minutes and it says cellular setup is complete. Your, it, your number is now activated, you can't see the number of course, and I hit done and boom, I have cellular service. So if I just bring that down, you can see I have AT&T service. Now you're asking, what about the physical SIM card which is in the 13 Pro Max? Can I transfer that over here? Now, the cool thing about the, uh, the iPhone 14 series is that you can have two active SIM cards at the same time, and you can store up to eight SIM cards uh, on your device, which is cool. So you cannot use eight at once. You can only use two SIM cards at the same time, eSIMs, uh, but you can store up to eight SIMs. So you see here, I've got delete eSIM. I can delete that at and SIM I just set up, but I can also set up another SIM card. When I'm gonna click on that, it still brings up the two options again that I had before, which was the 13 Pro Max, which is a physical SIM, and the iPhone uh, 14 Pro, which is an eSIM. So I'm gonna transfer that physical SIM card by clicking that, that's the 13 Pro Max. Here there are some prompts you're gonna get on the 13 Pro Max as you move that SIM card over. So I'm gonna hit transfer number, confirm the transfer for the instructions. As you can see here, it says, you can, if you transfer the SIM here, it will no longer be used on your 13 Pro Max. So once I hit transfer on the 13 Pro Max, it's going to be uh, live here on my iPhone uh, 14 Pro Max. So I'm gonna hit transfer. And I do have to double click to confirm on the 13 Pro Max. And boom. So now it's activating here on the 14 Pro Max. It's going to be activating and uh, I will eventually lose cell service on the 13 Pro Max. So let's just see what we have here. And there you go. So 13 Pro Max, you can see here it says SOS, which means it's actually been deactivated on here. Even though it was a, it is a physical SIM, you can see the SIM tray again, right there. And it's still activating here, but we're just waiting for that to switch. 
Now there you have it. It's added another cellular plan. So it's so add cellular plan. Your cellular plan has been detected. Next steps, you choose how the iPhone will use your cellular plan. So it knows I have two cellular plans. I'm gonna hit continue. And I've got P1 and P2. Uh, the very top one says label for your new at and plan. Label for, of course, my previous plan. Now I can go ahead, click on that and call this primary, secondary. I'll call the at and business for now that there and I'll leave this as the primary plan the, the, the physical sim I connected so AT&T is the business plan I switched that over and I'm keeping this as the uh, primary plan you can also change that to travel or whatever font you want hit continue and choose your line that we use for default for calls so I'm going to select the primary plan hit continue uh, for iMessage, I'll use the primary plan as well. Uh, for Allow for data switching, sure. But I'll select the primary as the main one. And it's complete. And now, I have my Verizon. And I also have B as SOS only for now. And I can go in here, and of course, I can turn them on and off. And I can also make switches. I can go into the settings here and I can cycle between my cellular data, between the primary and the business plan. Of course, I can do that for voice. And as you can see, I can still add more SIM cards. As again, you can add up to eight SIM cards, but you will have to use two uh, simultaneously. That's the back. So hopefully you guys that helped you out in setting up your SIM cards for your brand new iPhone 14 series devices from the iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, and 14 Pro Max. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.